Warning, time-lapse videos may cause disorientation. Hi there, thanks for joining us. my face is off. Hi there, thanks for joining us on this adventure. Where we go camping. This is our first time going camping since we were children pretty much, but we would do RVing back then. Today, we were invited by our friend Vanessa to join her here at Gardner State Park in Texas. There's some few things here that we can try. There's some um, hiking trails. Uh, the river is really, really close by to our camping site. Uh, we just set up our tent and this is what our camping site looks like right now. It's a little bit more glamping because we have a tent and you know the luxuries of home. We have a few electronics and such, but still, Gonna be roughing it a little bit. Uh, restrooms are nearby, but uh, kind of a small trek away. It's not something that we usually do. Usually we stay in hotel rooms or cabins and that sort of thing. But this is our first time staying in, in the tent since, like we said, since, since like he said, since we were little. <laughs> like he said. Like, like he said. Like, like he said. said. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't slept in a tent since we were little, like he said earlier. Um, and also, since we are out in the state park, we don't have access to the same electronics we do. We still have our phones and a few other things, but we're going to enjoy nature a little bit. Do some hikes, maybe a little campfire if we can. Um, and, and just enjoy what is nature. We'll be here for a few days, a few nights, and then head back after that. It's gonna be uh, interesting to, to us since it is our first time in a long time, so come join us on this adventure. There's always more to do. I enjoyed the campsite having the tree. The tree ended up being uh, quite a nice shade uh, for when the sun was out, even though it wasn't hot, it was pretty bright in the sun. We were pretty fascinated by the technology of tents. Uh, when Vanessa busted out this tent, it was really easy to set up. There was basically just three rods going through a little section of it and made it really easy to set up. Camera overheated. We went exploring the, near the campsite, so we ended up taking a small walk and ended up finding a side trail that led to the river. It was closer than we expected it to be. It took us about maybe five minutes to get there from our campsite. We did enjoy seeing the different vegetation as we walked down towards the river. The water was kind of cold. There was a swing that some people were using on the right side. When we got back to camp, we started making a little fire just to have some hot dogs and Relax. But it reminded us of camping when we were little and it looked like this when it would be recorded on VHS. I was practicing making knots during the night. I was able to learn to make a few knots. But I need to practice them again. We tried taking pictures of the night, uh, the stars. We had a lot of fun trying to get more and more stars in our pictures. Mikey was the one who discovered how to do it on our phones. Once he did that, we ended up taking several pictures. Unfortunately, they're not perfect. I did bump the camera by accident on these. So I had to get up to go to the restroom. It's about 2.45. It's really, really nice and peaceful out here. Just inconvenient that I had to walk so far to uh, use the restroom. But overall, it's pretty nice camping, hearing you know noises of the night. Um, Got really cozy with some of the doggies. They were like right up on us. That woke me up a little bit, but so cute. Anyways, night one going well. See you in the morning. Vanessa was kind enough to make breakfast for us. It was delicious. And this was the start of our six hour hike. This is the official start of the Rio Canyon Trail. The trail itself was actually really easy to walk. There were sections of it that became difficult, but they were labeled on the map, which we had with us. But the first about mile or so was pretty flat. Vanessa was responsible picking up poop, but unfortunately there was others that were leaving some. I had to stop to take a picture of the flowers.
we found this little offshoot of the trail that led to the river. We got to get pretty close to it and actually even touch it. It was much colder here than the last time we touched it. I love the sound of running water. So gorgeous. We continued on the trail. This trail connected to some of the other trails that we were interested in hiking, including one that had a pretty good view of the land. The first overlook that we found. Also needed to get the panoramic for that one. The video looks better. We found the area that had enclosed spots. Some people put their whole tent in there, others just used it as an indoor kitchen. But it was fascinating to see everybody else's trailers. This was the start of another trail. But as we first started the trail, we came across these logs. Huge trees. Talk louder. As reference for how big this is. Holy cow. <laughs> massive. Watch your step. Another massive tree. I am often fascinated by how big nature is. Really the scale of nature. From very, very small to huge. Man, it sounds like the current is going real hard. Wow, look at that clear water. Well, careful. <laughs> I don't know if I got that. I don't know, man. Touch the water. See if it's colder here. Super cold? No, about the same as the other one. Maybe a little colder. It feels nice though. Real clean feeling. I was trying out cinematic shots. Let me know if you like them. I'll try some more artistic shots in future videos.
is the first steep climb that we've had on the trail. We encountered a lot more after this. It's the first paved walking trail that we encountered, but it was leading up to a big courtyard. We decided to explore this area that we found near the courtyard. This area was a nice little area where you could hear more of the river. And too, it was a little tricky. So as these steps weren't as easy to climb, you actually had to use your hands. It was worth it. Getting out was actually pretty easy. I found getting down to be much more difficult. This was the courtyard. During our stay here, they were playing music. Apparently there's a tradition here dating back many, many years where people come to dance under these trees and to dance in this courtyard. We took a little break here in the courtyard. We sat and chatted for a little bit. We ate some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And then we explored this little mini golf that was nearby. It was about $5 to play. Not a bad deal. It looked pretty fun. We continued our journey. We were heading now towards the trail that led to the lookout. The first point of interest was going to be painted rock and we would encounter these rocks that had paint on them leading you to the different trails. The terrain got a lot tougher as we went on but it was very scenic. We arrived to Painted Rock, and what a view. And this is the view that we had. We ended up climbing higher though.
and reach the next over the lip. Picture time. We also found this rock formation in, uh, further up ahead. The cactus blooming was very gorgeous. I'm more flowers than I'm used to seeing on the cacti. It's 1.20. When did we have the peanut butter sandwich last time? 9.30? It's already been three hours since that. What? Shut up. Yeah. If we, the sandwich was at 11.30, it's already 1.30. So 120. So time passed really fast. The time we had the peanut butter and jelly sandwich was in the courtyard, and three hours passed since then. Felt like an hour had passed. When we got to the end of the trail, we ended up finding a paved road. All right, we just did a like six hour long hike or something. Yeah, we did six hours. We <laughs> left we left at nine. Nine in the morning. And then we just got back and it's three o'clock and uh, it was pretty good. It was a nice long trail, very beautiful scenery. Uh, we had one particular view uh, overlooking uh, a particular spot, old bald mountain, something like that. We'll have to check the map, but it was gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, and then also painted rock, you can see a lot. We put up the, uh, the nice view that we had. Mm -hmm. There was definitely the Frio River itself. That was real nice. The water was actually cold, as the name suggests. Frio in Spanish is cold. Uh, but the, the views were nice, the river was nice. And some of the terrain got a little tricky, a little steep some points. Uh, and some of the, the, the trails were really rocky. But overall, a very fun trail. Um, difficult in, in its own sense, but some spots were definitely difficult because uh, it's multiple trails combined but the route we took was real real uh, scenic but uh, overall lots of fun and now we're going to reward ourselves with a little bit of a cookout here we're going to make some carne carne asada and uh, enjoy that and as the night progresses We also made some beans. Delicious. I love beans. We played some dominoes. We made some s'mores later, but didn't record any of that. The master chef. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> On our final day, we all we really did was have breakfast and then started to get ready to depart. It looked like it was gonna rain much later in the day, so we wanted to get it out of the way before it started to rain. As you can see the clouds are darker color but all in all it took us about two hours to put away everything tearing down reorganizing everything back into where it belonged but with all the teamwork it didn't feel like two hours all right we just finished our first time camping so our time here at Gardner is coming to an end and overall it was a very fun experience would like to do it again maybe do some more activities we did a that six hour hike uh and then we were tired afterwards so we just <laughs> ate 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 and just really just hang, hung out played some games and stuff yeah. and we didn't tear down the camp until this morning which took us about an hour and a half two hours or so to get everything cleaned up but overall again the whole experience was fun hopefully we can go camping to another state park pretty soon uh, and get to enjoy uh, camping at another site and more trails experience the wildlife out there and how nature is different at all these state parks but thanks for joining us on this adventure and uh, we'll see you next time because there's always more to do <laughs>